The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to yet another episode of the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob and I'm your host. It's the podcast where we talk about all things web design and specifically we talk a lot about the Drupal content management system. Uh, That's going to be today's episode today is we're going to show you how to do something kind of cool in Drupal. Uh, We're going to show you how to customize, basically set up a blog and customize how it looks and stuff like that. Uh, If you don't know anything about Drupal, I encourage you to check it out, Uh, drupal.org, D-R-U-P-A-L.org. You can download it. It's open source and all that. Uh, So I'm going to hopefully get through everything today. It's going to be kind of a lot of information. Um, So I'm going to dive right into it. Uh, Today we're going to create a, uh, set up a blog and then show you how to custom theme it using a a, uh, node-custom.tpl.php. That's what I call it anyway. Um, and, uh, so let's just dig right in. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, this is a Drupal six site, although all the methods we're going to see here are pretty much the same for Drupal five as well. Uh, so first thing we need to need to do is just enable the blog. So we're just going to go to our modules list, turn on the blog and save configuration. We now have a blog enabled. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a blog entry. There's my title. Uh, let me grab uh, grab some lipsum text real quick. The famous Latin text that we use as space holder. Okay, so there's my blog entry. Let's save that. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful, sort of, not really. Um, You'll notice a couple things about this blog entry. One, uh, it looks it looks fine. Uh, I mean, you see all the text and everything. But what you'll notice you don't see is a title. Uh, that's because I didn't have that in my uh, my overall site theme. Instead, it would be specific to a blog entry. Uh, a lot of times, I decide whether I want the title or show to, to show or not based on content type. Um, let's look at these links. These are sort of maybe a little big and ugly. Uh, we might want to move those. Uh, we've got our submitted by information that sort of blends into this this text here. Uh, So what we're getting to now is that we actually want to theme how this specific piece of content looks and how all of our blog entries look. Uh, We're going to do that by creating what I call a node-custom.tpl.php file. Uh, This is a file that uh, you can customize by node type, uh, whether it be a blog entry or an event or uh, any other kind of content you're creating. Customize by node type how that looks. Um, So we're going to do that actually in a file that's going to sit in your theme folder. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create that now. And it's going to be called node-whatever your content type is called. And it has to be the machine name of your content type. Uh, If you don't know what your content type is, uh, go into um, admin slash content slash types. uh, Choose your... uh, your content type, hit configure, and you'll see the machine name in there somewhere. For blogs, it's just blog. So node-blog.tpl.php. So I'm going to create that, and if I open it, it's just a a blank file right now, and we're going to deal with that in a minute. Uh, Now, let me give you another option here, too. Uh, If you prefer not to monkey around in your theme uh, folder, um, and you'd rather do something that's being stored in the database rather than in a file, uh, there's this beautiful module called Contemplate, or contemplate, or contemplate, or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, And what this does is everything that we're about to do in our theme file, but it does it right in the Drupal GUI interface. Uh, So it'll give you a little text box, and you'd be able to do all this right in there. Uh, So that's a a sort of an additional option uh, if you want to do things that way. Uh, But we're going to go back to our node blog. And uh, basically what we can do here is we can uh, lay out all the individual elements of our blog entry and uh, choose that where they go off or uh, add CSS classes or sort of whatever we want to do to it to lay this out really custom and really nice. 
So the first thing you might ask, uh, looking at this, uh, this giant blank canvas is, how do I know what I can put in here? Uh, how, how do I know how to print my title? How do I know how to print uh, the body uh, and, and kind of all that stuff? Uh, this little piece of code that I'm about to put in right here is your best friend when uh, doing a node-custom.tpl. Uh, you're going to put in a pre-tag, which is, uh, this is just an HTML tag that helps us format what we're about to print out. Then we're going to put in a PHP tag called print, oops, print our node. And then we're going to end our pre-tag. Now, what this, what this print our node does is this gives us all of the different variables, all the different things that we can, or parts of the variable that we can print out um, manually in our uh, in our node. So uh, if I go ahead and save this, and then we go back to um, our blog, and I shift refresh, uh, you're going to see that you got a whole bunch of stuff that prints out here now. Uh, now I've had major problems in uh, in Drupal 6 uh, to getting it to actually recognize the node blog.tpl.php file. Uh, if man, if if it's not working, I think it's a bug. Uh, it might just be me, uh, but I actually, if if you go back, you'll actually see I just did an edit uh, in this video because it wasn't recognizing my node blog TPL. Uh, you can try a bunch of stuff. People say go to your theme and turn it on and off. Uh, they say clear the cache and the performance section. Uh, do all kinds of stuff. None of that works for me until I create a blank node.tpl.php file, save it, uh, and then. Uh, then basically delete it and then create a node dash blog. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, but there you have it. Uh, okay, so let's get back to what the heck we're looking at here. Um, so so we see all of this stuff, and it looks like a bunch of junk. Uh, if you are a programming guy, if you're a PHP guy, um, you will recognize all of this stuff as giant arrays of, of information. Uh, I'm not either one of those, so if I use wrong terminology, you're going to have to forgive me. But... Um, so, so basically what we're looking at here is, is pieces of your node. Um, so in the node variable, uh, which is what, what sort of drives uh, your node.tpl.php, in your node variable, you'll have pieces of that variable. So you'll have uh, the node ID for the variable you're looking at. Node ID of this one happens to be two. Uh, you'll have the node type, uh, which is blog. Uh, you'll have when it, the node was created, when it was changed. Uh, you'll have all this stuff. You'll have node title, which we definitely want, uh, and we're going to want to display that. Um, some of the generic uh, ones that are good to know here um, are, there, there's a couple of them. So this is sort of what it looks like uh, when you print a node variable. So let's say I wanted to print the node title. I would put PHP print node arrow title. Now if I do that, my title should show up at the top of my document. Let's refresh. And there it is. Uh, it's just uh, plain text. Uh, if we wanted to semantically mark that up, we could just do an H2, save it, and now we got that showing up. Okay, that's one good thing. Uh, obviously, uh, all of this uh, array stuff, you're not going to leave in there. This is just so you can see what pieces you can grab and do something with. Uh, one of the really generic pieces uh, that you can throw in is called content. So if we do PHP print content, you'll see that now that prints all the content of our node. Uh, sometimes this is just the body text as it is here. Uh, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's other stuff that's being put in the content variable. Um, so there we have that. Now uh, let's say we wanted to add our submitted information. There's a variable called, variable called submitted. add that. And now let's say we wanted to make that look a little bit different. Let's wrap that in a in a span. Actually, let's wrap it in a div, just because. Shift refresh. Oops, what did I do? Oh, I wrapped the wrong thing. Now, I this is stuff I already have in my CSS. Um, so you'll see that my submitted information is a little bit um, smaller. If we look at Firebug and inspect that element, the submitted element, you'll see that the font size is a little bit smaller. 
This is just in the Drupal CSS. Now, if we wanted to change that, if we wanted to say we wanted to change the color, let's go into my style sheet, add submitted, and change the color to, I don't know, black. Now, let's change it to uh, red, just so you can see it. We shift refresh, it's now red, except for the link, which we'd have to color separately. Uh, so that's what you can start to see how you can start to lay some of this stuff out. So now if we go back to our node blog TPL, let's say we want to print the links. This is all the stuff at the bottom of a node. For example, the blog link, the content or the comment link, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we, we've started to we've started to style this a little bit. Uh, it looks sort of like it did before, uh, but we've added we've added some classes around stuff uh, that we can manipulate. Uh, we could do you know kind of whatever we want. Let's say we wanted to move the links up under submitted. So now there they are. Uh, real easy to move stuff around. You can uh, you know you can add uh, you can add different divs around things to help you style them. Um, now these are what we're seeing here are, are some pretty generic variables that are available to all nodes. Uh, so you have links. This is always a very uh, a variable that's available in your node. We have content. This is always available. We have submitted. Um, but then there's a bunch of other stuff that we could print as well. So let's look back down and we could say, uh, what do we want to do? Let's uh, let's let's tell people what kind of node this is. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Uh, let's put it at the very top. We'll put it in an H1 tag. And now we're going to go back and we're going to look at, uh, at our node information. And we see here that the type is blog. So let's uh, put something in that tells people this is a blog. So we're going to go, hey, everyone, this is a, now we don't want to just type blog. We, you know, you could because all of them are going to be blogs, but let's put it in dynamically. Um, so we have no, it's going to be node type and then it'll print the blog. So you would do PHP print node type under H1, save it. And now you're seeing it saying, hey everybody, this is a blog. So it dynamically pulled that information from this variable and stuck it in there. Uh, so you can start to see there's there's endless ways, and especially once you start using CCK and you have a bunch of custom content, uh, pieces of your content, uh, there's all kinds of different stuff uh, in this variable that you can print. So when you're done, uh, you would obviously just delete your print our node. And all of that stuff will be gone then. And then we can move stuff around, you know, kind of however we want. So let's say we wanted to move these down to the bottom. I think you probably get the idea. So now it's title, content, we have our submitted and stuff we moved down to the bottom. So that's basically it. That's how you uh, create a node-custom.tpl.php. You can create one of these for any type of uh, node type in Drupal. So if you create an event and the machine name is event, you can create a node-event.tpl.php, lay out your event, uh, and do all that stuff. Uh, you can do it either in these tpl.php files or you can do it uh, using the contemplate module uh, that I showed earlier. Um, I, I hope I explained this right uh, or, or, or clearly. It's a kind of a hard thing to show and explain, but I wanted to show at least how to sort of grab, uh, look at the variable, the node variable, see which stuff you can print, and then go ahead and manually print it out. Uh, if you have questions, don't forget, you can visit uh, the website for this podcast, mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast slash episode five is this episode. And you can leave comments there, ask questions, tell me it didn't make any sense. That's just fine. Uh, and don't forget to visit my audio podcast, Geeks and God, uh, which is at geeksandgod.com. It's an audio podcast where we talk uh, for about an hour every week uh, on this kind of stuff. Lots of, lots of episodes over there. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I will see you next week. Uh, have a good week.